That's sweet. Oh yeah, that's that's the, that's yeah. what we're, that's yeah. what we were looking for. I think I'm about <laughs> to sign it on the chest or something. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to One Soccer. I'm your host for today, Josh Deming, joined by my colleague Alex and two special guests today, Theo Bear and Harry Payton. So first things first, guys, I appreciate you guys coming on to talk with us today. Now, the pair of you have adapted very well since arriving to Motherwell this season from different Scottish clubs. How has that adjustment period been? Um, yeah, you know, it's been great um, coming into the league. Um, you know, we started off really well um, for, as a team, um, picked up some good points. We went through a little spell where um, we weren't winning games, we were drawing games, couldn't uh, get over the line and, and get the, the three points we needed. Um, but we're back into a good uh, good position now. We got picked up a win and a, and a good tie against Hibs uh, before the uh, winter break. And uh, we're back now, just working hard and ready to get the second half uh, of the season going. Theo's the Canadian skin helping you guys over there because I mean it's freezing here but here it's not as bad over in Scotland. Yeah so yeah it's funny because we'll come out wearing hats and gloves and everyone will say oh you guys are Canadian you don't need that but we our answer is we just prepare better than you guys we're used to the cold but we prepare better we don't doesn't mean we just come out you know with the <laughs> with the rough skin shorts on and stuff and, uh, I'll be ready for it. <laughs> So I think that's what I've learned too. You get older, it's not it's not shame to wear leggings or have no. the gloves. Like you got to be ready for it. Um, sure. Like I guess speaking of experience, Harry, um, how have you handled being a bit more of a leader on this Motherwell side? You know, remember you come throughout Ross, Ross County, you're a bit of a younger player, but now you've come, you've been asked to kind of be a leader. How's that experience been? Um, yeah, it's been different for me at Motherwell. Um, I do have kind of a lot of experience, I guess, now under my belt, a lot of games in the Scottish Premiership. And uh, the manager brought me in, wanted to be kind of a bigger voice in the changing room and, and get my points across. And uh, we've got a really respectful team. There's no big egos in the team, which is really good. Uh, it's just a big thing. And uh, yeah, I just uh, like to kind of lead by example, just work my hardest. And uh, yeah, for sure. Now, Harry, to that point, I know the last time we talked, you mentioned that your boss, Stuart Kettlewell, was a big part of why you went to Motherwell. What's it been like working under him again this season? It's been great. Yeah, he's a very passionate guy. He loves his football. Um, just even after this year, the, a lot of work that he does behind the scenes is uh, it goes a lot unnoticed. Um, a lot of video sessions and things that we do, you know, like I said, behind the scenes that uh, him and his staff do for us to get the best out of us. And uh, I've worked with him previously, so I've known all about it. And um, to see it again with Motherwell and have the new boys in to see it is uh, it's good. And it's been working really well for us. Theo, you've really seemed to, to find a home for yourself in your first season with, with Motherwell, getting an opportunity, getting in the goals, the assists, you know, after maybe not getting as much of an opportunity to do that on a regular basis with St. Johnston. So I guess kind of what's been the big factor you've found and in, in, in get that's helped you get comfortable in this first season? I mean, I think it's similar to, to the reason Harry came to Motherwell. Um, the way the, the gaffer kind of speaks to us, his, his vision and the way that um, he teaches football, I guess. Um, is is very intricate. He's he's very detail oriented, and I find that with detail, I I thrive a bit more. And I'm I'm sure that's the case with the rest of the team as well. Um, so he was obviously a, I think plays a, a massive part, and the rest of the staff as well. But also just the fact that I have a bunch of boys that um, that support me and uh, and believe in me as well. Harry's helped me a lot. Obviously, being the the Canadian, um, he's kind of showed me around and and made sure that I don't. Uh, don't kind of, um, I, I guess, become a stranger, you know? Um, he's really kept me within the team and, and the boys have been really good with me. So um, I think that I'm just, I wouldn't say I'm comfortable, but I'm happy. And I think being happy is probably the most important. Absolutely. And, and Theo, it can be tough to be a big striker in a physical league like the Scottish Premiership, especially for someone who likes to make runs into space like you show with the Whitecaps. So what has been one of the biggest things you've learned so far during your time in Scotland that's helped you as a number nine in this league? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a bit of a learning curve. Um, like you said, my previous um, attributes were more so running in behind and, and that sort of thing. And now people look at me, especially in the UK, and just think automatically, you're a target man. You have to be able to hold up the ball. You have to be able to head well and stuff, which has never really been, not that not to say that I'm not good at it, but it's never been my game. Um, so I've worked on it a lot. Um, both at St. Johnston and here, probably more so here. 
but um, it's specific work, but it's stuff that uh, I think I am good at now. And it actually um, contributes to me scoring goals. It'll it'll get the team up the pitch and, uh, and it's helped me a lot. Harry, for yourself, you've been flexible and played different roles in, in midfield, played a little deeper, played a little higher up. Kind of what have you found to be your preferred position there? What have you kind of, uh, you know, found to be an attribute that's really helped you get the most out of yourself in, in those midfield positions? Yeah, over the years, um, been pretty versatile going through playing a bit deeper, um, playing more of an attacking number 10 role in the eight position. Um, I find well right now I'm I'm filling in with uh, the number six. I'm playing a bit deeper, um, just in terms of the shape with the team that we uh, that the manager plays. Um, I do say my best position. I feel like I get the best out of myself in a number eight position, where I can kind of release myself up the pitch a bit more, kind of more of a box to box. Um, but I've done a lot of work um, in the number six position, watching video, um, knowing positions to pick up, you know, take uh, less amount of touches when um, when needed. And, you know, I do like to drive with the ball. So sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll take my touches and get up the field. But I do feel like the number eight is kind of my best role. Um, but I do like to play multiple and I can fill in at other roles. All right, Theo, this is the question I've been uh, waiting to ask, <laughs> ask you. You scored some pretty sweet goals against Livingston. Can you take us through some of those goals? Now, your assist, I thought, was pretty with the old chop. You had the the drop the defender, the cheeky chip, just kind of walk us through that game because that definitely had been one of your best. Yeah, I, I would actually say that was that was probably my best game ever. Um, and yeah, the the assist, of course, it was, I, I felt the guy, he even told me afterwards, he said, oh, if, if I knew you had that in your locker, I would have never slid, but I knew he was going to slide. So um, a lot of the guy, boys say I should have completed my hat trick and scored it, but I knew that um, that my teammate Spittle would have scored it, so I, I gave it to him. Um, on the 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 chop and chip, I I saw I had no angle on the shot. There was no way I was going to hit it with my right and score. Um, and I had shot previously from there, probably I think four or five games ago, and I missed. So I was like, I think I should chop here. The guy went s sliding. Um, and then when I looked at the keeper, he's, I think he's six, seven or something. So he was filling the whole net. I was looking at him going, Oh my God, where am I going to put this? Um, and there wasn't really anyone in the box. I think Ollie was, was coming a little bit late, Ollie Shaw. Um, so I, I kind of faked to see what would happen and he went really low. So I was like, Oh, there's only one place I can put this and shipped it over him. It was, it was kind of blended. Um, but it was, it was calculated and definitely. I keep telling people this is my second best goal ever. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that because Alex has got a question for you later. But Harry, yeah. I need to know what was going through your mind during it because, I mean, that goal made my jaw drop a little bit. So just, you know, being able to see it like that, what was your thought when you saw him score that goal? Uh, I was not surprised. I see him do stuff like that in training through the weeks. Uh, but it's great to see that he's putting that into the games. And uh, I think the break might have came at a bad time for Theo. You know, he's begging in the goals, but he's... Um, we just had a friendly there the other night, he just picked up a hat trick, so he's still got that in him. So uh, is the next half of the season is going to be big for, for the big man. And so Theo, just because we, we had to ask, I mean, you mentioned it being your second favorite goal, so I think I have an idea of what you'll say, but, you know, stranger to, the, to bangers, I think it's a fun fact that your first ever pro goal was the banger of a goal against the Portland Timbers. Yeah. I was lucky enough to be in the building for that. Um, Josh thinks your chip is better. Which one uh, did you know stands out more to you as your favorite goal? You know, I I, I think the chip was a better goal because it, it required more. I had to do a lot more just to build up and everything. But I like the other one more just due to the fact that right as it left my boot, and it was my first goal, but right as it left my boot, I knew it was going in. So it was just kind of one of those special moments. I didn't really, I don't really remember thinking I should shoot it. It was just like, I'm just going to hit this and then it, it ended up connecting really well so um that's why that one is probably my favorite one but i would i would agree with him and say that this one was probably was a better goal good good i'm glad we're on the same page i was just making sure it was, it, was an, it was a good goal but you're gonna have to tell me that one for you i haven't seen that one yet 
Oh, go look it up on YouTube. Y'all have fun. <laughs> yeah, Theo, Theo Bear, Portland Timbers. You'll you'll find it. Yeah. But um, Harry, going over to you now. Uh, you had the chance to represent uh, Canada in the 2023 fall window. You took the pitch against a team like Japan for your senior debut. How rewarding was it for your patience? Obviously, being in previous camps before and not getting the chance to finally get it now. It was huge. That was the the capitalist. That was the main goal for me to get that first cap. Um. And it was, yeah, it was a dream come true. Um, I got to get it on and, and play and make my, my presence on the field. And I and, uh, felt like I showed well. And uh, I definitely want to uh, get some more. That's going to be, uh, I got a good taste of it. And I want to help out the country again. And uh, yeah, I guess as many more caps as I can. Because Harry, just as a bonus, was there anyone in that Japan team that you're kind of excited to see take the pitch just because they've got such a fun team right now and they're in such great form? Like, was there any player yeah, you're super... Uh, the funny thing is with that is there was a few Celtic boys that were there and they just beat us in so much time, <laughs> like a few days before that. So I wanted to go on and have a little bit of revenge. So I got a couple of good tackles against Kyogo. Uh, <laughs> but they got the better end. They obviously won. Um, but they're, yeah, they're a great side. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can have a rematch sometime. I guess, Theo, on, on that note as well, you've had the chance to play at the youth level for Canada. You've been in a senior camp, scored a senior goal. How important have those memories been to you? And how big of is a goal to, to crack the team yourself, especially with you know the 2026 World Cup is approaching? Yeah, I mean, I I, I love Canada, of course. I, I also have a, a Jamaican passport, so I have the possibility to play for Jamaica, but I don't think I would, given the circumstances. It's, I love my country and I, I really do want to represent the country on a uh, more um, more often, obviously. Um, so yeah, getting back into the to the national team is a is a big, big goal of mine. And it's not uh, it's not only just getting back into it, but I, I want to stay there. Um, so I think that, um, again, playing with Motherwell, playing playing with Harry, um, being two Canadians in a, in a really tough league is is going to help us and and we'll we'll definitely be able to get back into it if we if we continue the way we are absolutely and scoring goals should give you a chance to do that and also yeah. scoring goals will find yourself in eafc's team of the week because from that match like we talked about you got your 83 overall card now i'm not gonna lie i grabbed it and i evoed it, evoed it into an 86 and scored a few goals with you so yeah. i'm curious to see if you play the game and if you uh you know bought your card because i mean Team of the weeks are a little pricey. I had to buy it for th about thirty-two thousand, but I, I'd say it was probably worth it. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually um, I bought the game because of the card, <laughs> so <laughs> I, uh, I I ended up having to buy it. Um, I've I've played a couple of games. I actually have a, a giant cutout over there of the, oh, of the card that EA sent over, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that was a, a childhood dream of mine for sure. Something that, um, yeah, literally a boyhood dream. I remember my parents getting mad at me because I'd wake up before school at 6 a.m. to go get some Ultimate Team games in <laughs> before I went. Um, so being able to use uh, an actual good card of mine in the game is, is surreal. I say, Harry, to that point, I mean, in this new game, you can Evo cards. There's been some pretty sweet Evo cards. I've seen your name pop up, some 88 cards of yourself. Have you ever had a chance to, to use those or have any family members not, uh, hit you up being like, yeah, they're, they're, you can, you know, use that future, say. Um, no, to be fair, I, I do get messages a few times on uh, on Instagram saying, I just packed you on FIFA, like, this is so cool kind of thing. Um, I do play a lot of FIFA with my brothers. Um, we do play more more pro clubs, actually, just the three of us. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're always on it. Um, but yeah, the, to be on FIFA is obviously like a dream come true. And for Theo to get a uh, new team of the week, that's kind of, uh, I was really jealous of him. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Just guess you got to go, uh, you know, score a goal, score a bang or something. I'm sure uh, yeah, the Canadian sure. guys at EA will notice you for that. Yeah, the old drop and chip, that'll do it. But guys, I really appreciate the time. It was a really fun interview. I hope you guys enjoyed it and best of luck for the rest of the season.